In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called Ness Greater Element 1. So we're given two integer array, and both have unique elements. Nums 1 is a subset of Nums 2. So we want to try to find all the uh, Ness Greater, greater el uh, elements for Nums 1's elements in the corresponding places of Nums 2. So let's say we have an example of 4. The Ness Greater element, or the Ness Greater number, in nums2 is going to be, uh, in this case, we cannot find it, right? So in this case, 4, you can see the nest greater ones, uh, greater element that are greater than this element right here is not going to, doesn't exist. So if it doesn't exist, we're just going to return negative 1 for this number. So in this case, for this element, we cannot find the nest greater element in nums2. So we just put negative 1 as does not exist, right? So for 1, in this case, we have a greater element, which is 3. So in this case, we're going to put 3 as the next greater element for element 1. And for element 2, in this case, it's right here, right? So it's at the border, so it doesn't. there's no elements that are on the right. So in this case, it doesn't exist. Then we just put negative 1 as, the next, as there are no greater number, right? So we can see there, there's also another example where we have 2, 4. So this is a subset of this array. And basically, uh, 2, the next greater element in this case is going to be 3, right? So we have a 3 here. And the and 4, the next greater element in this case doesn't exist. So we just put negative 1, okay? So how can we solve the problem? So one way we can do this is we can uh, scan, right, for each element that we have in nums2, right, in this case, for each and every single element, we're going to scan to the right to see if there's a to to, to find the next greater ones, or to, to find the next greater element. In this case, for uh, four, we find that element in nums two, and we scan on the right side to see to find the next greater element. In this case, it doesn't. We cannot find it. Then we're going to return negative one, and then we find. Then uh, we're going to look for one in nums two. In this case, one is here. So in this case, we scan on the right to see if we have a nest greater one, a greater element that's greater than one. In this case, we have three, so we put three there. But this will give us a time complexity of big O of n. Sorry, big O of n squared. Um, so how can we solve this problem in a linear time complexity? So to solve this problem, we're going to use a stack data structure. So stack data structure is a last and first out. So if I have a stack and I have an element here, um, the first element that we inserted is, so the last element that we inserted in this case, let's say five, this is the element that we're going to first remove, right? So what we're going to do is we can have a stack data structure to keep track of all the elements that, uh, that we cannot find the next greater elements. And we just insert onto our stack. And once we find an element that's greater than the top element that we have on our stack, then that will be the next greater element for all the elements that we have in our stack. Let me show you an example. So if I have a stack, empty stack initially, right? We have an empty stack. If the stack is empty, then we first add the first element that we have in our array onto the stack. So in this case, it's gonna be two. So then what we can do is we check to see if three, in this case, element three is bigger than the top element that we have in our stack. If it is, then we just remove that. We're gonna set two, next greater element is gonna be the current element, which is three, okay? And then we're going to add three onto our stack. Then once we get to five, we check to see if five is bigger than the top element that we have in our stack. In this case, it is. So we just add, we just set five as the next greater element for three. Okay. And then we add five onto our stack. And then once we get to one, we know that one is not bigger than five. So we're going to add one onto our stack. Then zero. Then seven. Seven is greater than zero. That means that seven. So what we're going to do is we're going to set all those elements. The next greater element is going to be seven, right? Oh, sorry. This that should be seven. Okay, and then we get insert seven onto our stack. And then we continue. We saw three, 
So three is not bigger than seven, so we're gonna add three onto it. So what we notice at the end after we traverse, after we iterate the entire array is that we know that all the elements that have a nest greater elements will be at, will be stored on our table. But all the elements that we that we don't have a that does not have a greater element cannot find a greater element will be in the stack. Which is true. Seven does not cannot find a nest greater element. Three you cannot find a nest greater element. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop each and every single element off the stack and set three, set each of those elements to negative one because we cannot find the uh, in this case, we cannot find the nest greater element, right? So at the end, if I have, th if this is num two, right? And I have a num one, which is two, three, five, right? So let's say this is num nums one, this is nums two. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna iterate each and every single element that we have in the nums one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that element's uh, key, uh, sorry, get that element's value in, the, in a table, right? This is our table. So in this case, two has a value of three. So we have array, the first element is three. For three, it has a value of five. So for the second element, it's gonna be five. Five has a value of seven, so we store seven there. So to do this in code, first, we're gonna have a stack, which has a type integer. And then we're also gonna have um, a hash table or a map which stores the nest greater element for each and every single element that we have in nums2, right? Because nums1 is a subset of nums2. So what we're going to do first is we're going to iterate every single element that we have in nums2. So once we iter for each iteration, we're going to uh, check to see if our current stack is empty. If it's empty, we can just add it onto our stack, add the current element onto our stack. If it's not empty, then we're going to see if the top element that we have on our stack is actually uh, bigger than the, uh, sorry, is less than its current element, right? If it is, then we're just going to um, get each and every single element that we have in our, on our stack and set the current, uh, set the every single element that we have on our stack and the nest greater element to be the current element, right? So let me show you an example. Or let me sh let me demonstrate that in code, actually. So i is equal to zero, i is equal uh, less than uh, nums two dot length. And then for each iteration, we say while while the stack dot is empty right is false so it's not empty and uh, we know that the top element that we have right so in this case is going to be uh, nums2 at i is actually bigger than the top element that we have on our stack so dot peak if it's bigger than then what we're going to do is we're going to get the um the top element off the stack so the top is equal to stack dot pop So once we pop the top element off the stack, we're going to say uh, map put for this current item, right? And the current item is going to be nums two at i. Sorry, uh, the current item is top, right? So the top item, the nest greater element is going to be nums two at i, right? So we set that as the nest greater element, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to get each and every single elements that we have on our stack onto the table, right? Once we've done that, we're gonna insert the current item onto the stack because we haven't found the nest greater element for this element yet. So stack.push nums2 at i. So once we've done that, we, we're just going to iterate the entire uh, nums2 array to um, find their nest greater element and save it onto the map. So once we've done that, just like I said earlier, there could be a situation where we still have elements that we have left in our stack. So we're going to say if while stack dot is empty is equal to false. 
right? So if it's not empty yet, what we're going to do is we're going to get the top element that we have. So top is equal to stack dot pop. So we get top element off the stack. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say map dot put for this top element. We cannot find the next greater element. So we're going to set negative one for that. And then once we um, complete this part, we're going to create an array that we're going to return at the end. And this array has a size of um, nums one dot length. And then we're just going to iterate all the elements that we have in nums one, and then get their nest greater element added onto our result array. Okay, so nums one dot length. So result at i is going to equal to uh, hash map dot get nums one at i, right? So for each iteration, we're just going to save their nest greater element onto the result array. And then at the end, we're going to return results. Okay. Now let's try to run the code. And let's try with a few more test cases. And then uh, let's try to submit. And you can see we have our success. So this is basically how we solve this nest greater element one in a linear time complexity or uh, where n is the number of elements that we have in nums1 and nums2. So there you have it, and thank you for watching.